What's up and welcome back to the channel. Man, it's been a couple days. I hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Um, it was a pretty good Thanksgiving. I mean, my family came down from Idaho and we had Thanksgiving with my family down here, which I think was the first time, which was pretty cool. And uh, it's funny because everyone always talks about me moving down here to California from Idaho. And they're like, oh, you made, you made a horrible decision. Why would you move from Idaho to California? And California just sucks. And, and all this stuff. Like, and, um, and there are certain things about California that does suck. But there's a lot of things that are good. And one thing that I learned for Thanksgiving is that um, it's not necessarily where you're at. But it's the people that make the place like enjoyable because like in Idaho I have some there's some good people up there in my family's cool and stuff but um and just like the atmosphere down here it's a different kind of people like my family down here is different than my family up there and it's it's uh, the other kind of people and my family down here has a bunch of friends that are really cool people and um a lot of people surprisingly in this area are they like uh they like trump which was really surprising and like people at the gym have trump shirts and and uh, that one guy that i talked to at the gym he told us i went there and uh he's talking to me and he said that he liked trump and he can't wait till he's back and all these people like if you wear a Let's Go Brandon hat, everyone's like, oh, I love your hat, man. And it's just funny because, like, you'd think in California that nobody would do that. But it's mostly just, like, just, like, in L.A. and downtown stuff. Big, big parts where people are the opposite. But out here in the outskirts, I mean, it's pretty cool. People are cool here. And uh, so that's one big thing that I learned over this these past couple days having my family down here and stuff is it's not necessarily where you're at even though the weather the good weather the blue sky warm weather palm trees does make a big difference it really does help boost the mood but um and just having access to everything but also the people it's what makes the place good and that's like one thing, probably the biggest thing that I've got from, um, well, one of the coolest lines from listening to Drake, all the Drake stuff I've listened to, and a couple different artists, but just from him, one of the coolest lines that I found was uh, in his song Connect on the, um, on his album, Nothing Was The Same, and uh, he says, He's like talking from uh, one of his, he's talking from someone else's point of view, I think. And he says, wish you would, and they're talking to him, and they say, wish you would learn to love people and use things and not the other way around. And I mean, that's a pretty cool line. And uh, kind of starting to learn and realize that people are what make the thing cool. Just like flying, which I did finally this morning, we bought a um, ground school course and I got started on that. So it should be a week or two and go in and take the knowledge test and stuff. But with flying, the people are what make flying the coolest is what I've heard anyways. The community with flying and everything is just really cool apparently. And from what I've seen, people in aviation are really cool and it's a really cool community because it's pretty small and stuff. And uh, everyone is passionate about it. But, like I was saying, that's the biggest thing that I learned over these last couple days. Because even though, like, <sighs> forgot what I was going to say. But, we did get the ground school going. We're rolling on that. Um, we did go, let's see, on Monday. No, Monday we picked up my family from the airport, got back, it was kind of late, and then Tuesday, 
We went down to Santa Monica, Santa Monica Pier, and the Third Street Promenade to the shops and stuff, and that was really cool. It was kind of funny, because like, well, it was actually really cool, because it was surprisingly clean. There was some security guards and police officers around, and the people seemed to be decent. There was only, there was a couple homeless people, a couple guys getting in fights with trash cans and screaming at themselves, but I mean, that's typical for the San Monica Pier, but other than that, it was surprisingly clean and really cool, and we even saw this really cool blue Rolls Royce, and uh, I got a picture of that, and then the next day, we kind of just ran around, we went to, let's see, I went to the gym, where did I go, yeah, went to the gym, went to Target, just kind of ran around, and we had our Thanksgiving dinner with the family on Wednesday, because our family went out, our extended family went out camping to the desert on Thursday, which is where we're going to go out and spend the day with them tomorrow, but my family went home today, and uh, it was kind of weird being on the other end of that, because usually I'm going with them. This time I had to take them there and drop them off with my grandpa. We both dropped them off there and then left them. And it was kind of weird. It was kind of, I wish they would have stayed because it was fun when they came down. But um, then yesterday, what did we do yesterday? We kind of just drove around, went to my uncle's house, went on the aqueduct, just kind of hung out. And then today, we went down to Burbank early this morning, had breakfast at Denny's. Um, we went to a Tesla dealer, and we were going to go down there, and I was going to buy a Tesla today. And the only thing that stopped us was that my, because my dad is going to be on the title with me. And he has to be there in person, but his they were leaving like in a couple hours from when we were there and they were all booked up for the the uh, Tesla deliveries and stuff. Otherwise, if he was here for one more day, we would have bought one because we found one that we liked and would have bought it. And it would have been really cool. It was a Model 3 long range with white seats and it's gray. And um, they actually let us test drive a black one they just like we went in and talked to him and my dad's like well since we can't buy one today can we at least just test drive one and he's like yep and he just took our licenses took a picture gave us them back and gave us the key and we sat down in it and he just went over the controls and we just took off and I got to drive it around Burbank like downtown Burbank and it was pretty nice I haven't driven a Tesla in a while it was almost too easy but it was cool but, um, yeah, I'll talk about more of that in tomorrow's video since it's probably getting a little bit long. But anyways, we were supposed to do, Quevin and I were supposed to do a stream today, but I think we're going to end up doing that on Sunday. So I look forward to that. Come and say hi. And uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And uh, remember, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And I'll see you in the next one.